Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and now that my two obligatory informative videos are done for the day, it's time to talk about current events in the online fitness community, and this is a video a lot of people have asked me about. In fact, every single day people are like, Jason, you going to tell us why you came off TRT? So uh, let me put on my plus five out of weaponsmithing, work on skill at my craft a little bit, and let's talk about this. A lot of it has to do with personal reasons, and contrary to the rumors, a lot of people are saying... Oh man, does that mean that you're trying to knock somebody up? No, absolutely not. Just for the record, nope, nope, I am not currently trying to get anybody pregnant. Uh, now, was fertility an issue? Yeah, it was. And that's something that we need to talk about uh, going further into it. And that was one reason I continued to stay on and didn't try to come off. Because I have actually thought about this for a while and in my last relationship, I did actually want to try to come off the TRT and just do HCG therapy and everything, but I also didn't want my sperm count going way up uh, because I was with someone who I, I didn't want to risk that happening, um, you know, as far as my relationship goes. So was that a factor? Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. And that's why I had done that sperm test and everything to make sure that my count was still low uh, because for me, it does seem to help with keeping my count down. Uh, and it does, that's not true for everybody, by the way. People need to remember that. There are people out there who are staying on gear year round. There are people who I know on TRT who have gotten their wives and stuff pregnant while on TRT. So if people think that that's some sort of foolproof uh, birth control method, it absolutely is not. Now, furthermore, uh, the point has come up with people saying, you know, I thought you were pro TRT. I am. If you need TRT, if you are legitimately diagnosed with low testosterone, the scientific evidence is overwhelming that going on TRT is healthy. In other words, it's bad for your health to have low testosterone. All right. And that is a long term. Large studies have looked at this and they have found that men who have low testosterone, clinically low testosterone, who go on TRT have lower strokes and heart attacks. They have much, much, much lower rates of strokes and heart attacks than men who choose to stay at a low testosterone level. It's not healthy. Now, the other end of it, though, is there a risk of, of prostate enlargement, prostate cancer, things like that are a factor. But still, overall, mortality is lower. So it's actually good for your health to, to go to your doctor if you actually have low testosterone. Because having low testosterone is not healthy. That's actually bad for your health. So that's the point I've tried to make with that. Um, however, what people need to remember, I had a secondary medical issue involved. Like, uh, there's a, there were a lot of myths out there that the reason I had low testosterone was due to my uh, gear use in my 20s. That wasn't the only factor. That wasn't the only factor because people need to remember I had high testosterone levels after coming off. I had gone and got my uh, testosterone levels tested because I had really, really good insurance. I got my levels tested over a year after I had come completely off the gear in my late 20s. And my levels were actually above average for my, my age. They were high. They crashed later when my autoimmune issue caused my cortisol levels to go way up. My cortisol levels were like three times normal. And it has to do with the, the stress hormone response and everything to an autoimmune issue I have with my Meniere's disease. That pushed my testosterone levels down. Okay? It also made me insulin resistant which did not help with my body fat gain, right? It's one reason I got really, really fat. My testosterone went down and my insulin resistance became a problem. I developed insulin resistance. That's a bad, bad combination. That is a good way, particularly when you have a high appetite, that is a good way to get really, really fat. And I did. However, over the years I've trained, I've trained really hard. I've competed in powerlifting again. I do large amounts of strength training. I've changed my body composition. I've made all these changes and I've got my cortisol levels back in check. So realistically, with the right stuff to reboost my production, there was the possibility that I could have come off and not needed any sort of testosterone for, for years now. However, I didn't want to do it because I was with someone who, for I don't want to get into all their medical issues, who due to their own previous medical issues could not use birth control. All right, birth control was a, a serious risk to their health. A serious risk all right and they didn't want to have children in fact they had been told that carrying a child to full term could actually again be dangerous for them so when you're in a relationship like that with someone and you're on something that's that's your equivalent of male birth control you know it's responsible to go ahead and stay on I'm not in that relationship anymore so I didn't see the need 
to do it. I wanted to see if I could come off. I wanted to see if I could come off. And I did, and it's been successful. Actually, everything's pretty good. Um, did I have to do HCG and all that stuff? Yes. Was I completely off on my last DEXA scan? Yes. I was. I actually had no exogenous testosterone in my system at the time of that last DEXA scan either. So here's what I'm going to predict. People are going to say, are you going to shrink? No. No. Because my body is producing a normal amount of testosterone. It's not high. Like, I'm not producing really high numbers by any means. I'm near the lower end. But it's within the acceptable healthy range for my age group, okay? So if that's the case, I don't necessarily need the TRT for my health. What people need to remember, this is why I tell you, just because someone is natty right now is not natty. Once you cash in your natty card, you are not natty for life. So if I were to say I'm not on any, any anabolics and not on any testosterone, not on TRT, does that, that I'm natural, right? No, no, absolutely not. I predict... I'm going to predict right now that because of the old muscle memory and the change in muscle cell nuclei, that I'm going to be able to maintain a larger than natural size. In other words, I'm predicting that future DEXA scans as I continue to get leaner, and I'm going to regain, I'm gaining muscle back in my legs. I'm regaining muscle memory in my legs right now that I had lost at certain points during the cut, everything else. So if I gain any muscle and I continue to lose fat, where's my fat free mass index going to be? 26? right? I'm going to be above the natural limit, even at a lower body fat. And it's not just because of my training. Yeah, my training is going to help tremendously. Obviously, my training, my nutrition, all that stuff matters. It matters a lot. But that previous gear use in the past, it does matter. It does affect you. It affects muscle memory. It affects those things down the road. Now, here's the kicker. Your training is the only way it's going to work. In other words, if you don't have the proper training in place to build and maintain that muscle or even regain that muscle from the muscle memory from when you use stuff, you aren't going to have it. You aren't going to have it. That's why guys who don't know how to train, when they come completely off, they shrink down. You see them sometimes shrink to 170 pounds, right? We've seen it. Who don't know how to train. But if you are training correctly, you will be able to regain that, that old muscle. You'll be able to regain it even without using anything. You'll be able to regain it even, for some cases, with fairly low testosterone levels. You don't need the same substances to rebuild the muscle that you previously gained always if your training and nutrition are on point. So, you know, people are going to say, well, does that make you natural? If your testosterone is at 400 nanograms per deciliter, which is about where it is right now, does, it, does that make you natural now because you're, you're at the lower end of the, of the healthy range? Slight, not, not super low, like, but not, not really that high either. I mean, 400 is, is a modest amount. Is that the same as being natural? No, it's not because I'm going to have different muscle cell nuclei. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have different things that are permanent changes. I'm probably going to be more sensitive to testosterone in my muscle tissue as a result of that. So yeah, I'm going to be able to maintain all of my muscle. I, don't, I haven't lost any yet. Do I look any smaller? I don't think so. I don't think I do. And the DEXA scans aren't showing me being any smaller. So that's a point that we need to keep in mind. So I don't want people to think that I'm going to claim natural. Uh, that, doesn't, that doesn't make you natural. Let's be honest here. We need, we need to be honest about that. There are too many con men out there. But we're going to kind of come back at that point, though, of then people are going to say, oh, well, you use gear, you're on TRT um, as a thing to downplay my training as I'm continuing to do stuff and, and get results and lose fat and get stronger and stuff again. And I'm, I will be able to respond, actually, no, I'm not. I'm actually not. I am actually doing this without exogenous testosterone. So there is that to factor in. And does that mean my lifestyle is going to have to pay attention to that? Yeah, I can't. I'm going to have to eat more fat in my diet. I'm going to have to make sure I get enough sleep. I'm going to have to make sure I don't have dietary imbalances. I'm going to have to make sure that I take care of all these things to make sure that my body stays healthy and I have normal, healthy production. Because I also don't want to have low testosterone again either. So I'm going to have to pay attention to those things just like someone who's full natty does. I'm going to have to pay attention to those and they do matter. But I'm okay with that, right? I'm okay with that. That's fine. Totally fine. I would much rather it be that way. So I tell guys, TRT, if you need TRT, you should be on TRT. Medically speaking, you should be. But you don't want to have to be on it if you don't have to. 
And that's the point I always make. You don't want to have to be on it, but if you have clinically low testosterone, it will make you healthier. The research is pretty overwhelming on that at this point. Uh, but by that same token, what people always need to remember is being off is not the same thing as being full natty, bro. Because there are permanent changes at the structural level to your muscle tissue from years of using, using gear. So I always tell that to guys. Once you've cashed in your natty card, uh, you don't get to claim your natty just because you've been off for a couple of years. You, you really don't. You shouldn't. I mean, you can. Sure, you'll pass a drug test. But it's not really honest, is it? All right, guys. Well, that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative. And I will talk to you guys next time.